Once again, Dubai is leading the world and setting the parameters for yet another type of stunning, colossal, expensive mega project. This time, it is all about giving back to planet Earth and fixing the world's oceans. They are building a series of floating islands that collectively measure about 200 square kilometers in size and will become the world's largest artificial reef, a mesmerizing ecosystem that will help the ocean regenerate, a world-class marine ecotourism and research destination like no other. What is the Dubai Reef's mega project? Why are they creating it? And how will it affect the city and even the whole world? Regardless of how hard any nation tries to portray the process of building mega projects as environmentally friendly, the truth remains that such achievement is literally impossible due to the nature of the materials used and the associated supply chain. Negative environmental impact is also impossible to avoid because humanity simply does not possess the right tools and necessary technologies. However, Dubai is one of the very few places in the world that goes the extra mile to ensure that the construction process and resulting mega projects have the least negative effect on the environment. Nevertheless, this fact was simply not enough for Dubai. More had to be done. In fact, they have turned the entire city and emirate more and more reliant on renewables and clean technologies to achieve zero emissions and environmental balance as soon as possible. Still, that was also not enough for Dubai, and hence a decision was made to give back to planet Earth by initiating mega-projects that are solely dedicated to restoring the balance. From immense greenification and walkability projects to creating magnificent colossal artificial coral reefs, Dubai is on it and beating the whole world in giving back to planet Earth. In 2017, an insane heat wave damaged much of the UAE's already fragile coral reefs. This fact added to the headaches of Dubai in particular, which was already struggling to restore its coral reefs and ecotourism sector. As a result, Dubai found the solution in the creation of artificial reefs. Several projects were launched and were quite successful, but not to the desired scale. Soon, European property developer Kleindienst, who is working on a unique project combining luxury and sustainability, decided to do something. As contractors working on the mega-project known as the Heart of Europe, which consists of several islands that are part of the world islands across from Dubai, the firm decided to build floating villas that feature underwater levels and platforms designed to act as coral reefs. The firm succeeded, and this success coupled with previous artificial reefs projects led Dubai rulers to contemplate establishing the world's largest ocean community mega-project. After years of planning, the mega-project Dubai Reefs was announced, and now it is bound to return the coastal areas to their ancient state, filled with splendid coral reefs and marine life. This is why Dubai is building the unprecedented Dubai Reef. However, there are other reasons. So before we tell you all about this marine world wonder, allow us to elaborate more on the why. Rising population, urbanization, and impacts of climate change are increasing the need for cities to be sustainable, resilient, and smart. Dubai is a coastal city and is facing these very challenges. Dubai is also a world-class gem in tourism, and it is simply dedicated to meeting demand for ecotourism, which dictates the presence of coral reefs that are a breeze of fresh air and hope for all those who love the oceans and nature. Today, as our oceans become more and more polluted, acidic and warmer, the collective health of the human race is declining. After all, over half of the oxygen we breathe is generated by our oceans. The ocean is also a carbon sink, absorbing more CO2 than it releases. These facts are a driving force that has encouraged Dubai to aggressively seek environmental sustainability. And since Dubai believes that mega-projects are solutions to many of humanity's problems, it has initiated the world's largest ocean restoration project. It is quite huge and will span 200 square kilometers of floating islands that below water will act as monstrous hosts of coral reefs, and above water will host more than 100 million mangrove trees and even ecotourism and research facilities. The Dubai reefs will also act as a form of protection against flooding for its inhabitants because the floating islands will rise with sea levels. The reef will also provide a natural defense for nearby Dubai against coastal erosion or during storms, as it will be guarding the land against powerful waves, while the Dubai coastline itself will benefit from coastal regeneration. The project will also contribute to the creation of more than 30,000 jobs in Dubai's rising green economy sector. So without further ado, let's take a look at the insane engineering behind the colossal earth-saving Dubai Reef. 
The magnificent Dubai Reef will stretch for many miles across Dubai's shores. It will consist of numerous floating islands that literally act like boats and thus can rise as that ocean's conditions change. The main construction material of these islands is reinforced water-resistant concrete. Are you surprised? Yes, with today's advancements, eco-fiber reinforced concrete can be made light enough to float. The rule for floating concrete is simple. If concrete is shaped in the right way and light enough, it can float just like any other material. It all has to do with the water displacement ratio and the object's shape. Hence, all of these islands will technically speaking sit on floating thick concrete slabs that are lighter and shaped in a way that displaces enough water. They will not have any support pillars below the water. The designers of Dubai Reef will also be using artificial intelligence for monitoring the construction process and are going as far as using 3D printers to build much of these islands, including the structures on top and the ones below water that will become artificial reefs. 3D printing will be used because the technology has come a very long way and concrete is still the main material used in 3D printing. We did a video about 3D printed homes, so make sure to check it out. 3D printers will enable engineers to create amazing above and below water shapes and textures identical to natural underwater landscapes. It will allow the artificial reefs to match the ecosystem's natural environments. We do have to comfort you here. All of the materials used will be suitable to host living microalgae similar to corals. This mega project is quite amazing. It will be the world's first floating living lab for marine restoration and ecotourism. It is also already dubbed as the largest ocean restoration project in the whole world. The islands will feature a wide consortium of facilities not just for marine research, regeneration, and ecotourism, but also residential, hospitality, retail, and educational unique structures. Imagine this. The project will generate 1 billion corals, feature 100 million mangrove trees, utilize only renewable energy, boast stunning advanced ocean regenerative farming, and blue infrastructure which is the use of ocean currents and waves to generate clean electricity. We are going to drop a bombshell now. Dubai Reef will also be the world's largest natural air conditioner because mangrove trees are tough trees that constantly generate oxygen and cools down the surrounding area. These magnificent trees can live in water up to 100 times saltier than most other plants can tolerate. They also store more carbon per unit area than terrestrial forests. Hence, the people of Dubai and tourists will be constantly bombarded with what can only be described as fresh, clean, cooled air. The ocean waves and currents which never stop will generate electricity that will feed into Dubai's main power grid, making the city even more green and sustainable. The islands will also be integrated with aquatic plant life such as kelp and seaweed, which can absorb the energy of storm surges, thus reducing the risk of coastal flooding. Seaweed farms will be set up to provide a halo effect to surrounding water, lowering acidity levels. Here is one of our favorite features of this mega project. It will boast the largest oyster farm in the region. Not only do oysters taste good, but, and you will be shocked here, one oyster can filter 50 gallons of water each day, and they also provide food and habitat for other marine organisms. All we can say now is that with more of these types of mega projects, planet Earth will be saved from climate change and pollution. So, thank you Dubai. What do you think? Will Dubai be able to build the reef successfully and without setbacks, especially for the environment? Do you know of similar successful projects? Tell us about them and the technologies that help them succeed. Do not forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and check out some of our other videos. Thank you.